This is the latest from the Laramie Live Radio News Center. We have Klaus Hobbsgut again inside the studio today, and he is here for a specific announcement you wanted to make. Yes, I'm very pleased to announce that my independent campaign for county commissioner got the required number of signatures on the petition, and I have been given verbal authorization from the county clerk's office that I will be on the ballot in November. So I'm very excited about that. I wanted to come out and announce that to the county, and I uh, also wanted to give a shout out to all the people that signed the petition, all the good residents of Albany County. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to represent you, and I hope to talk to more of you in the future. This has been a very interesting adventure, and I'm looking forward to what comes over the next few months. All right, so congratulations on that. That's fantastic. Thank you. So exactly, so to be an independent on there, there is a whole process you have to go through. Would you like to explain some of that process yeah, it, to it, getting it, to this moment? It, it has been a long process back in February. I think I might have mentioned it the last time I came in. I went up to the clerk's office and asked them if I could run as an independent in one of the party's campaigns, and they told me no. But they were kind enough to let me know how to run as an independent and what I had to do. So I learned about the petition, I learned about the amount of signatures that I had to get. So I've been working on this ever since February. And typical Klaus fashion, uh, collected a lot of signatures initially, kind of got a little lazy about it. And then as the deadline got closer, I got a little bit more intense and started getting out more into the community and talking to people. And they were uh, very kind and gracious to take the time to talk to me, especially during this time of the pandemic. Everybody's a little bit leery about getting too close to anybody. Uh, but I got out, I got to meet a lot of nice people, I got the required number of uh, signatures on the petition. Analyzing uh, all the people that signed the petition, I'm very pleased to report that I have almost equal number of Democrats and Republicans that signed it, and I got a good chunk of unaffiliated that signed it too. So when I decided to run as an independent, I wanted to run for all the residents of Albany County, not just Democrats, not just Republicans, everybody. And I think the results of the signatures prove that I'm a candidate that can appeal to both sides, not just one party or the other, and I hope to prove that over the next few months going forward. I want to reach out to everybody, regardless of their party affiliation, and I want to represent everybody, if elected, regardless of their party affiliation. So, uh, yeah, it, it's been very fun. Uh, the clerk's office has been tremendous. Jackie and her staff have helped me along the way. It has been frustrating at times. There, there is a very, uh, I would call it an antiquated system of collecting signatures. Um, I can go into that in a little more detail if you like, um, but yeah, there's quite a few signatures that I did get that did not actually get counted for a variety of different reasons. So, yeah. Would you like to explain those reasons a bit more so that the people kind of know how that whole process goes and yeah, the system uh, we have? So hopefully I'm laying the groundwork for further independent campaigns down the road, and if anybody's listening and decides to do that, you need to first get the voter registration list from the county and uh, cross-reference as many of the signatures that you get against that. There are some technicalities that came in and kind of surprised me. If a registered voter doesn't continue to vote, they deem, deem them inactive, so that vote won't count. If you move and you're still a registered voter but you haven't put in a change of address, the Wyoming State Legislature won't let you count that vote or that petitioner's signature. They have to have the correct address that's on their voter registration, otherwise you don't get those. And there were a few other little mistakes that the county's office was really good to take care of. I had one lady who uh, got denied because her, si her signature card was uh, 27 years old with her maiden name on it. And so they initially denied it, but they didn't get, then they did give it back to me. Uh, it was correct on the voter registration list, but not on the signature card. All right, so there was a lot of jumping through the Sorry about that, I talked too that. much there and got a little dry. Oh, you're uh, fine. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, so it was quite the adventure. And there's a bunch of people that think they are registered too, that were so kind to sign my petition, but they weren't registered. So, mm -hmm. you know, you got all of these little I's that have to be dotted and T's that have to be crossed. And so anybody considering running for a, as an independent candidate, go out and get at least 25, 30% more signatures than you need. Because trust me, you will need to have all of those extra, extra signatures. So. Um, I learned a lot about how democracy works in the great state of Wyoming. One thing I hope going forward, uh, forward, we've all learned to do things online. Um, just applied for a new bank account this morning online instead of going down to the bank. It would be very handy. I would have nothing to do with getting this changed if I got elected as county commissioner, but any legislature uh, candidates out there listening, 
If you could make it to where people could sign a petition electronically online, download the form, mail it to the candidate, and then the candidate can turn it into the clerk's office, that would have gone a long way to make collecting signatures a whole lot easier. Because of the pandemic, you really can't go door to door. So, But I'm not allowed to collect signatures electronically either. So you were kind of forced to put yourself out there and go out in public and talk to people, which is a great experience. I got asked a whole lot of questions by a whole lot of people. Some I was prepared for, some I wasn't, but it gave me things to think about. And it's that kind of interaction with the community I want to have going forward, especially if I get elected, so I know what's near and dear to their heart and uh, so I can make educated decisions. You know, the more you know what the people want, the better you can serve them. So I want to be open and transparent. And you are the first independent who is running for county commissioner, correct? I think I might actually be the first independent running for any office in Albany County. Um, I don't think anybody's done it for any of the offices, so this uh, makes this a historical campaign no matter how it works out. Mm -hmm. So I'm very pleased about that. Um, hopefully I'll be very pleased if I continue on in November to the, to the county commission, but uh, that'll require me getting out and energizing the vote. So uh, yeah, I believe it is the first time anybody's run as an independent and successfully made it on to the general election ballot. All right, awesome. Uh, any final words you want to say to our viewers or to anything about? Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody again for their support. I'd really like to also thank Town Square Media, you and Jared, for uh, your help on the campaign up to this point. You guys have been awesome. Without your guys' help, I don't think I have actually would have made it this far. So again, thank you very much. Not only did you help me with radio and Laramie Live, um, you guys also do a great job for my business website, so I can't recommend you enough, especially for anybody that thinks about doing an independent candidacy down the road. Check you guys out. It's been <laughs> a great experience. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming in and letting us know. Thank you.